All right, let's get set up with everything Google that you're going to need for 21 Things for iPads. So if you just go to google.com and you click sign in, you may or may not already have a Google account. Now if your school is East Jackson or Grass Lake or Concord, you might have a school issued Google account and that's fine. Um, you just go ahead and, and use that one and we'll sign into that one. If you have a different personal Google account, that's fine too. Um, if you don't have a Google account yet, you're going to need to sign up for one. And just make sure you don't use your school email address. Just use a personal email address to create a Google account. Now once you know which Google account you're going to use for this class, just go ahead and send me that email address because we're going to use that for some different things. The first Google app that we're going to pay attention to is Blogger. Now you might click on your apps icon here and find Blogger in the menu or you could just go to blogger.com. Blogger is going to be where your digital portfolio is. So you do have to have a blog space set up and if you don't have a, a space for that you're going to go ahead and say new blog and just give it a name. You're going to have to choose a web address that's unique to you. And you can choose a theme. Now go ahead and send me this URL that you use right away so that I have that so I know where your space is at prior to our face-to-face -face meeting. Go ahead and view your settings for the blog that you just set up. And one thing that you will want to make note of is that you can set up an email address that you'll be able to post to. So this is where I just use the word iPad for this class. You could use uh, whatever you wanted there. And just kind of maybe write that down and remember that for later, but we'll, we'll talk about that in the face-to-face. -face. Okay, the next app that we need to talk about is Google Plus. And that's generally the plus right next to your name. Anywhere in Google is going to take you over to Google Plus. So Google Plus is where we're going to have our own private little community. It's kind of like a social network where that's the links will be posted for the weekly webinars. You can ask each other questions and things like that. Now I'm going to need to invite you into that community once I have your email address that you're using uh, for the Google account with the class. And so I'll get you that link ahead of time and then also we'll go over that in the face-to-face. -face. But just make sure um, that you do have a Google account and you can sign into Google Plus. Okay, the other thing we need to make sure you have set up is a YouTube account. So I'm going to find my YouTube app link here, or you can just go to youtube.com. And when you're signed in with a Google account, you're going to be able to sign right into YouTube using that same um, login information. Now the first time you go to YouTube, it might pop up here with something that asks you to set up your channel. So just go ahead and make sure you have that channel set up um, ahead of time. And then as we go through the course, you're going to find that it might be handy to post a video there. And you can be it can be public or private and things like that. But we'll talk more about that when we get to those lessons. And then the last thing I'll mention is your drive for Google. So if you just go to um, google.com or you go to drive.google.com, your Google Drive is kind of like... Um, your, your folder system, cloud storage, where you have access to store files um, or create Google Docs and things like that. Now we're not going to do a lot with that um, specifically right away in the class, but it is going to be handy to have that all set up ahead of time. And the gradebook as well as the, the progress chart for your assignments is going to be in a Google Doc format, so you're always just going to use that your same uh, Google login to access any of the Google Docs that I, I send to you. So that's it. You've set up um, a Google account, you've got Blogger, you've got Google+, you've got YouTube, and you've got Google Drive, and they're all using the same email address and password.